Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to teach you how to homebrew your 3DS on 10.6. This works only for the old 3DS XL and the old 3DS. I'm not sure about the new 3DS XL, the new ones. But yeah, if you're using the old 3DS or the old 3DS XL, then this is a video for you. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. All right, we're going to come here to smilum.github.io slash 3ds slash and we're going to come here for Ocarina of Time. You must have Ocarina of Time. You must have Ocarina of Time. So you can homebrew it. All right, we're going to click here on the bottom. Yellow's 8 rips rift story. Click on it. Uh, I already opened on this page, but yeah. All right, so you see right here, latest release. OT, Ocarina of Time 3D hacks, raw save images, hacks, payloads. Um, March 1 of 2016. So we're going to click right here. All right, we're going to save it. Save it anywhere you want. I already saved it, so I'm not going to do it. All right, we're going to come here. I, I think I always save mine in documents. Okay, there you go. So we're going to open on documents. We're going to open up save images dash power saves, underscore power saves, I mean. We're going to go right here, car, the second one, car dits. All right, and when it, whatever region your 3DS is from, click on it, and mine says USA. And for us, for 10.6 users, we're going to want this file right here, this one, post 5 underscore view underscore 25600. There's the one you don't want. Although last four digits are the same for every file. Well, not every file, but yeah, we're gonna want the one with the 25600. All right, now we're gonna go to our computer. Click on local C disk. When that open power saves, you must have power saves as well. We're gonna go to users. Uh, okay, that's me. And we're gonna go to power saves. Okay. Now we did this. Uh, we're gonna wanna open up our power saves. So my Ocarina time is already in here. So I'm gonna back up the file. I recommend you guys, if you still wanna continue um, playing your Zelda or whatever, and you don't mind if you delete your file, then go right ahead if you care about your file. Uh, just make a backup, which I already did. And it's this one right here. So we're gonna back up. Uh, just rename it. I'm gonna rename it. Arena. Uh, 3D XL. All right. Just rename it to anything you want. Doesn't have to be this one. So we're gonna do that. All right. Cartridge already read. All right. Don't close it. Just minimize it. All right. So now back to this file. The one with the 25600. We're gonna click on it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be for every region like USA, Europe. Uh, you're going to have to do the 25600 as well. We're going to want to copy and just paste it here. All right, so rename this file. Should rename it to anything? I'll put it as. I'm just going to name it Homebrew. You can rename it to anything you want. Homebrew. Dot bin. All right, so we're going to name it the, the file Homebrew, the post five. Now we're going to look for that file that you renamed for your PowerSafe file. Mine's Ocarina 3D Excel, so I'm going to have to look for that one. All right. These are all the backup files that I have, so I'm going to look for it. So Ocarina. Uh, nope. Okay, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Don't worry about that, guys. All right, so here's my file. You, you're going to want to copy. You're going to want to copy the name of the file. And just rename it to anything. I'll put, I'll put Ocarina or just whatever. doesn't matter. So we did that. And 
the, the file that you named, the post file. I named it homebrew. So delete the name or whatever you named it to. And just copy and paste the PowerSace file name, the whole name, dot min. So we do that. All right. I'm going to close these. And that's it, guys. So this is going to pop out right here. Post 5U25600. This is going to pop out. And once you do that, just take off your game from the power saves, the Zelda. And then insert to your 3DS. All right, give me a second. I'll leave the links in the description as well. I'm going to do that. Open this. And so you guys can see. Turn on my 3DS. So when that happens, all right, let me see. I'm gonna try to move this file over here. All right, guys. So click on Ocarina of Time. All right, let it load or whatever. Then you're gonna see how it has hacks on the file. So pretty much your file is gone already. It's deleted. So in order to do that, you can go back. So once you do this, you're screwed. All right, so click on hacks, start, and just tap it. Tap letter A on the 3DS and yeah that's pretty much it guys and welcome to homebrew so if you want to keep on going to homebrew you must um, pop in your game for um, the ocarina of time and just do it all over that's it you don't have to uh, drag the file or anything everything's already saved to ocarina of time and that's it and yeah that's pretty much it guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you need any help or you want to ask any questions you leave them in the comment section and i'll try to guide you through everything if possible other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time